So we're out on our Segway tour. We've already uh, left the Segway building and have come down by the Space Needle and are by a little park right now. Um, I'm not allowed to uh, film anything while I'm on the Segway, but we do have a GoPro. So Brad's taking some footage on the GoPro and we're just stopped here for a little break. So I thought I'd pull it out and show you. I'm gonna flip you around here, so. So there's our Segways there. Parked for a minute to see if everyone's taking a bathroom break or a water break or whatever. It's really fun, it's actually not that hard to do. still on our Segway tour and we're down now at Lake Union Park. So there's a bunch of ships docked down here. I think there's, he said there was a seaplane about to take off. Let's go check that out. Yeah, the Segways are lots of fun. They're not as hard as I thought they were going to be. They're actually very simple. Ah, oh, yeah, there it goes. gonna walk a little bit just to see a little bit of the wharf area here. This feels so much like home. So we live in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada and our downtown waterfront is it just feels the same. <laughs> oh look at there's another seaplane. Jeez they're everywhere. Oh there's another one. Busy today they are. Look at them. Another seaplane getting ready to take off there. And skidoers. All right, I gotta head back down to the Segway. All right, we're approaching the famous gum wall, which sounds absolutely disgusting, but we're by it. I'm ready to look at it, even though that is just gross. Like, oh, the germs. <laughs> it is disgusting. I don't get the fascination. Oh, and then people having it all hang down and ugh. Gross. At least I can smell like mint and stuff. Look at all the bugs. Ugh. Nasty. <laughs> Alright, we're heading to Pike Place now. So there's the main entrance. We're gonna go start there at the throwing fish. 
There's flowers. The crumpet shop. For you. Alright, so we're just gonna spend time poking around here now. Oh my goodness, cats. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway. It's going to be really hard to record here, guys. Let's see what they got. Mostly cannolis. Flowers. Barbecue pit. Oh, yum. We're basically going to eat our way around here today. Alright, this is where they do the throwing of the fish. I don't know if we're going to catch any doing it or not. This is the fish market. Beautiful flowers everywhere. Go, Maui. Let's go. It is crazy in here, like crazy. It's hard to see much of anything. More beautiful flowers. Handmade cheese. We're gonna go there and get some of their famous mac and cheese. So we're just waiting outside Beecher's Cheese. There's a big line as usual, but it's not too bad. So here's the menu here. All right, so we're at Beecher's Mac and Cheese. We just ordered one of the small original mac and cheese. So here it comes. We're dishing it up. So this is them making the cheese. So that's them making the cheese in there. All right, here is the mac and cheese that we got. Getting Brad open it. Ta da, mac and cheese. I know. It's the original. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna try some in a sec here. Okay, here we go. I'll give you. Here's some forks. Babe. All right, I'm gonna try it. 
à oh that is rich that's good what do you think sorry there's not much room to move around in here so it good yeah it is we're gonna go eat it Here's like a cinnamon place. Jesus. Oh, it smells amazing. Um. Oh. oh, sorry. That's cooler. Oh, I wanted to check out this place. Cinnamon rolls. This was the place I wanted to check out. The confectional. This little baby cheesecake. So there's all the flavors and stuff. These are all cheesecakes. So this Corn. I'm assuming it's Mexican street corn. Let's go check it out. It's not good. You should get the flaming hot one if you want. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can get different typings. Okay, so you can get the elote style. All right, we're going to Poroshki Poroshki. Here, it's a must try when you're here. There's Poroshki Poroshki, it's just so busy and there's not a lot of room, but there's all of the food and I'll show you what we got. Let me go open it here. sugar on top of them. Okay, so we went to Poroshki Poroshki. Brad's gonna open them and show you what we got. So we have uh, one. Did you seriously just get pooped I on? Shit on you. you did not. Yes. Well, and then you're gonna touch the food? Nasty. You thought you were joking when you said you were gonna take the poop for me. Oh, supposed to be good luck, but I don't know about that, man. <laughs> don't even say that. That's, that's going to happen, right? Here, take a napkin and wipe it off. Gross. Well, where else were we? I know. That was... The first day we got out there and he pooped right on my shoulder. I don't know. Set off the cruise ship and he pooped on my shoulder. Yeah. All right, yeah. so we have... Well, I'm going to touch them first because he's got poop on them now. Okay, so this is the savory. It's the beef and cheese. So, I'm going to take a bite of it. Okay, here it is, the beef and cheese. This is a Polish pastry. No, I have it flipped around. There's a bird over there. Mmm, so good. Oh yeah, Brad's going to like this one probably. Is more savory than sweet. Yeah. All right, I'll give it to him to try now. This one, the beef one? Okay. okay. Beef and cheese. Tell me what you think. It tastes better than burger food. What do you think? Well, yeah, hold on to that. I can't really describe it in any way. I don't know. I can't really compare like a, it to anything. Like a hot pocket, but like a hot pocket. Yeah, but better than a hot pocket. Oh, but I mean, I'm gonna try the sweet one in a sec here. Okay, here's the other one. We get an apple cinnamon, I think it was called. I don't know. Apple cinnamon. Try this guy. Alright, so this is an apple and apple cinnamon one, right? Yeah. Yeah, so the real apple chunks. Look at the big size of the chunk in it. 
Granny Smith apples. What does it taste like? Does it taste like home? You get the what? Sweet and the what? Tart. Tart. Soft in the center. Soft and cinnamon me. I will. Yum 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 yum. Footage along my way though. Is it cute? What is this store? Oh, sorry. Soapbox. Oh, there it is. They're very cute. Okay. It's an ice cream place. Like in the dark. Hello. Yeah, but I always thought it was ice cream from that side. I didn't see the chocolate on this side. Let's look at it. It's so hot out though, it'll all melt. We get over here. What is this? I don't know. Kitchen, kitchen and market warm chocolate chip cookies. Let's check it out. Oh, that's cute. They have grab and go stuff, so that's good. Check out line starts here. So they have drinks you can grab and go. Ice cream, I assume. They make it themselves? I don't know. No, no, it looks like it's a little bit. It's hard to tell. Where is where's the warm chocolate chip cookie? Over here. Over here, I'm guessing? I don't know. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. That's them. So that's the warm chocolate chip cookies. Have you not noticed like pretty much every store we go in doesn't have prices on anything? Hop on, hop off bus there. All right, so we're done at uh, Pike Place. It was just insanity. So we're just gonna walk around a little bit. I think we're gonna go take the shuttle. There's the Bliss is in over there. We've been on that one. Let's go. All righty. There's the Bliss. So, other thing, we are done at Pike Place. It was super crazy. So, we're now just gonna wander around downtown. And they have a free shuttle running right now while there's construction. So, we're gonna get on that and get off at a few different stops and just kind of check stuff out. 
It's our last day in Seattle and we are down at the Seattle Ferry Terminal. We're going to take the ferry over to Bainbridge Island across the Puget Sound and just check that out. So come along while we take the ferry ride. Okay, so we're at the ferry terminal. So it's only about uh, $10 to ride the ferry you just pay on this side and when you return as long as you're walking on not taking a vehicle if you're walking on uh, it's ten dollars per adult um, and you don't pay coming back across so it's just the the ten dollars i assume there's some tax and anyone 18 and under is free so the kid will be free so it's just going to be around twenty dollars for the three of us to to take it so here's the terminal and bainbridge is right there this looks a little seating area. It's as exciting as it is. I'll show you once we board in the ferry. on the, uh, the shuttle and go along the waterfront and get off on some of the stops. Um, we were heading up to the Klondike uh, Gold Rush Museum, but it says permanently closed on it. So now we're backtracking and finding something to do. So we're just kind of puttering around, finding our way. We've decided we're going to go to Dick's Drive-In for classic burgers and fries and milkshakes so we're walking there from the Space Needle about 15 minute walk and we made it to Dick's so apparently this is the only location that has a dine-in all the rest of them are um, drive in and walk up to the counter only so let's go inside <laughs> so much for dining. It's there's no seats. You just stand and lean against the lean against the wall and eat off the counter. Whatever. We're here. We're eating. Here's the menus. It's seriously just burgers, fries, and shakes and drinks. Like that's it. Nothing else. So we got two cheeseburgers, a fries, a chocolate shake, a diet coke. And you, one thing different about here is they actually charge you for condiments. So we got a ketchup cap, and if we need more, we'll go get more. But we're just going to share all this. So. There we go. All right, we're at the Amazon Go store. It's very novel, at least for us, because we don't have these. So basically, you just go in, scan your app, pick up whatever you want, and walk out. So you feel like you're a thief. But a few minutes later, you'll get an email with your receipt of what you've taken from the store. So let's go check it out. We have a special buy one, get one free on their pastries. I mean, and the prices are quite reasonable compared to like everywhere else, so. Ooh, look at those cookies, look good. So it's just a little store, but I mean, it has all your regular 
like a convenience store, but with a lot of front, fresh stuff. So they have a lot of prepared items, so like salads and sandwiches and stuff like that. So you can kind of see some of the pricing and stuff. So here's your salads. I'm just gonna get some snacky things to take on the, the ship for when I'm up in my room and don't wanna go out. So I mean like $2.39, I've been paying way more than that for a bottle of pop walking around Seattle. So I mean the prices are decent. For sure. We got chips, candy. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get M&Ms. Brad's just working out the. Uh, ooh, dollar twenty-nine. That's good. Five-dollar pizza and fountain drink special. There's your drinks. Liquid death. I don't know what that is. Yeah, so Brad was just working on the uh, app. Since we're Canadian, we have to change it a bit. So breakfast sandwiches, like three dollars for a breakfast sandwich, is a decent, like it's a great price. Pizza. Yeah, sorry, I'm just showing what there is here. I'm gonna get, just get some little snacky things to take on the ship, like M and M's and things like that. Hmm? So yogurt, fruit, I know, but the prices are like perfectly reasonable. You would think it'd be more, but anyway. Okay, I think that, is that it? That might be it. And then coffee over here. So regular coffee and then iced coffee. So yeah, so we're just gonna grab a few things and head on out. This is just across the street from the Amazon, the Amazon Go store. So we're just gonna take a quick peek in. Mighty O Donuts. Let's go check it out. No cash accepted. Interesting. A lot of stores I find here are cashless, so. Hello. Hi. Let's see what we got. This is our first time, so. <laughs> Ooh, they look good. Oh, good, they have mini donuts that we could just try a, a bite because I'm pretty full right now, to be honest. Okay, so mini donuts. Yeah, I just seeing what they're seeing what they had. Oh, there's like little cups of donuts. Hey.